Browsing and learning to use the internet is yes! One of the easiest and funnest things to do today. A click here, another click there, and we can be anywhere. You can meet people from around the world. Hi! Read amazing stories and histories of the past. Ooh. And even have a glance of what may be seen in the future. But remember, using the internet without proper guidance and enough knowledge can also be one of the scariest we can ever imagine. Ooh. Imagine going on an online trip, seeing the beauty of the place, when suddenly, potential scams pop up and block your way. Hmm, scams? These are dishonest tricks used to deceive people, and we don't want that to happen to any of us. So, be your own hero online. Be internet alert. If it's too good to be true, then it's most likely fake. Fair exchanges shouldn't ask for your personal information. Always think twice or ask for the assistance of your parents and guardians before accessing a new site. Be on guard for possible phishing that will ask you to log in and give your important personal details. Whew, that was close! Good thing, I am internet alert. Remember, any effort to steal your information may be a form of scam. So always trust your intuition and distinguish what's real and what's fake online. This has been your online hero, Mom Jennifer, reminding you to Beware by being aware, keep your learning safe, and don't fall for fake. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Max. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, hello, good morning. Tara. Hello, good morning, Tutor Floyd. Hello, good morning to our viewers. Uh, we are live here at Dep Ed, Ed Tech Unit Facebook uh, page, Dep Ed Philippines YouTube account, yes. and Dep Ed uh, Educational Technology Unit YouTube account as well. So hello, Pa. Thank you for hello, tuning everyone. in on this Friday morning. <laughs> Good morning, energy, energy. So, Tutor Kit, uh, let's just have a quick shout out to our yes, folks please. who are here with us. Of course, uh, our early bird, Marilou Dabul, Dadul rather. So from yes. SEO San Jose Del Monte City, Graceville uh, Elementary School, we also have Ross and Remo Makalua from PNS, SDO, PPC, Palawan, hello po. We also have Felon Calapine or Calapin Lomongo from Tugaya Elementary School, hello po. Uh, Sir Kit, that's you. We <laughs> that also have <laughs> Heavenly, good morning to you as well. We also have Heavenly Tangian. Uh, from Hi, San Emily. Roque Central Elementary School, so from Davao City Region 11. So hello, Heavenly. We also have Josie Osmeña from Cebu City, watching live with my son, John wow. Henry Osmeña Apundar, <laughs> Kinder One student of Basak, 
Elementary School. So, hello po. May buntag ka ninyo. Ah. May buntag. May buntag po. And we also have Ellen Joy Aba Dadulo. Dadulo. Watching yes. from NCS Kibawe East District Bukid Noon. Hello wow. po yung mga suking taga Bukid Noon. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello po. We also have from Wenceslao Elementary School, Charmy Santillan. So, hello po. So, wow, those are such heartwarming good mornings from our It's viewers true. today, Tutor Kit. Would you agree? I totally agree, Tutor Flo. And it makes me so happy. It makes my heart full that our students, our parents, our teachers are tuning in to us every single Friday. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, we love you. And uh, we do this for you. Tutor Flo and I do this for you guys. So thank you. Please share this episode, this uh, link to your classmates, to everyone you know who are grades four to six learners so that we could have fun together right tutor floyd yes definitely so tutor kit let's hop in <laughs> next <Yes>. slide please <laughs> yes and this uh by the way tutor floyd i'm so excited for the next slide because these are the readers of the week for this wow. week okay it seems that we have new faces wow that's great So we have first Prince Zarkil J. Pamitan. And of course, if there's a prince, there's also a princess. Yes. <laughs> we have Princess Precious Malto. So hello and hello. congratulations to our readers of the week. But I love kid, how you I paired think, them to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. They're still kids. We couldn't pair them yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have more. Wow. Okay, who's the, who have, are the next one, Tudor Kit? We have Dom Cyril Tadena. Hello, Dom. And Zach Leanne David, David. Thank you and congratulations. Oh, congratulations. These are such adorable kids. One has a parrot on top of her. Nice. <laughs> We also have Abby Chin and Lance Storio. I remember Lance was doing this because I think he's part of a... Uh, And one of the folks who are dramatizing for a Lenten season or maybe a Christmas season, oh. I'm not sure. But Lance was so active, looking so active, actively participating in his event. So thank you. Thank Good you. Good job, Lance. Good job. I, I would like to have the same uh, uh, sunglasses with Abby. <laughs> Go get me one right now. <laughs> And also okay. we have A. Ross and... I, th I think this is, is Argan yes. Quintua Monte Alegre. This is actually a poster of a character from Mobile Legends. Uh, maybe she's uh, a, a big fan of Mobile Legends too. Hello, congratulations. I know. Congratulations. I'm hoping we can see more of their pictures, real pictures next time. Yeah. And <laughs> of course, I, I, I believe this is the last set shooter kit, our yes. ever consistent. Zachary Narciso, Martin Angel, Dave Nagumpreza, and of course, Heavenly Tangian. So congratulations, congratulations, the three of you and the rest who are recently tagged as our readers of the week. We are proud of you. Yes, shout out now from Athena Michaela uh, to Grade 2 Sampagita. Hello, Hello. Grade 2 Sampagita, <laughs> Athena. All right. All right, Tutor Floyd. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want to be uh, uh, featured as a reader of, of the week, make sure you participate in our session today and try to, uh, what do you call this, uh, answer the questions that we will have and you might get featured next week. Right, Tutor Floyd? Yes, yes. And I'm kind of hoping we can already invite someone over next week. So oh, be great. who among them is the most... <laughs> <laughs> outstanding so yes, I, we yes, will yes. definitely have them next week we also have wow um zay zay marilao integrated school and uh wow well, thank you for tuning in and of course sir jerry, sir jerry. hello sir jerry thank you for always supporting uh, us you're the best okay uh, so cheer kid let's have the quick review what yes is this let's review? review yes review oh tutor floyd who's this Oh no, that scary looking, wow, pink, pink monster. <laughs> I know, it's the review monster. And oh, I review monster. This, this. 
I'm scared. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me read uh, his his message. Rar, you <laughs> shall not enter the Valley of Hope until you answer all of my review questions. Mm. So, uh, I think this week is going to be very challenging. Okay. I no, mean, oh, because we have monsters this episode. <laughs> So we are going to unscramble the letters to form words with consonant trigraphs and definition will be given as clues. So remember kids, consonant trigraphs, these are the ones that we talked about last time. So let's try to recall them together. Yes. And if you know the answer, type down your answer on the comment section. Okay, let's get ready for question number one from the review monster. The definition is a long, loud, piercing cry. Hmm. What could it be? Unjumble the letters, and then you might get the correct answer. Okay. What do you think is the answer? Oh, I'm so excited for their answers. Let's see if they're also quick this time. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A long come on, come cry. on, you guys. Should our kid, can we just give them a tiny, tiny clue? Just a little more clue. What? I'll do it. Yes. Ah! You'll do it? Oh, no. Ah! Right <laughs> uh, let's use the words of Sir Jerry. He said, lakas. Oh, so that's lakas. I'm actually doing it already. And we also have Athena. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, okay. I like that. There you have it. Kyle, Joseph, Salvador, Tubawan, and Heavenly are the ones to answer. And the answer is? Scream. Scream. Let's see, yes. Let's see if they're correct. All Yay. Right. <laughs> Good, Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, Good guys. Job. So let's have the next one then. Hmm. Okay. This is a very familiar one. This is one place that we miss so much for the past two years. Ooh. So it's a place where students or learners like you get education. So this is yes. where we go. We wake up early in the morning, and then we're so excited to see people whom we haven't met yet, and even the people who are teaching us. So what is this? True. Good job, Heavenly. Okay, the and Zachary as well. The yes. answer is school. school. Oh, I miss school too. Mm. I miss it as well, but. Don't you worry, tutor kid. Even if we're not physically in school, we're still in school because they're with us today and they're also joining their teachers in their online classes or true. even modular <laughs> classes. So this it's is true. learning session. So congratulations, guys, for persevering. Okay. True. Next one. Thank you. Next one. It's a quick movement to avoid something. Here's a clue, tutor Floyd. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll get something. Okay, Vix. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. <laughs> what could be the All answer? Right. Zachary already answered. That was fast. Good job, dear. Wow, Zachary. Zachary. Dodge. <laughs> Dodge is correct. Yes. Very good, Zachary. Congratulations. Heavenly That's the next good one. job. And Kareel. Yes. Athena as well. And Kyle. Okay. Good job. So the next one means become smaller in size. Hmm. Size smaller. Hmm. So smaller. from this to this. Yes. Yes. Usually in fairy tales, um, you you see a main character drinking something, maybe yeah, a potion. Alice. Like yes, Alice, Alice right? in Wonderland, and then she. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. We have answers from Wien, Clyde, Dunka, Pusong, and Heavenly, Athena, Kareel, Shrink. Very good, guys. Yay, good job, good guys. Job. Shrink. Good Before morning, Floyd, Martin. The last one. Oh, hey, good morning, Martin. The last question is, I think, the most difficult of oh, all right. the, the, the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it, it means a complicated maze. Okay. Like I don't maze. want to be in there. <laughs> yeah, because probably I'd get lost if I, I'll be there. I don't have 
um, any sense of direction. <laughs> I know. So I wonder what this is. Mm -hmm. Let's see if our students can answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What letter does this star tutor kid? Just give them one more hmm. clue. I think the letter L. L. Starts with the letter L. Okay. And ends with the th sound. Okay. Umph. Umph. Does one of the syllables sound like Corinthians? Yes. <laughs> true. Okay. That's one more clue, guys. You can do it. You can Hold do on. it, guys. Come on. So the last syllable sounds like Corinth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with L and ends with N. <laughs> there you go. Kyle, Rebecca are the ones who were able to answer it first. The yes. answer is labyrinth. Good That's job. Good. good job, guys. I'm happy for you're able to get it. All Ooh. right. Rawr, you passed. Yes. You may not proceed to the lesson. Oh, yes. I'm so Love glad to Floyd. Okay, so that's good. So good. what is our lesson today, Tutor Floy? Okay, so our first objective would be identify words that contain diphthongs, okay, and syllabicate words. So, syllabicate it. <laughs> so let's it's see. True. I'm so excited, Tutor Kid. Woo! It's time for our word wall, guys. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Oh, and now you can only choose between the numbers one, two, and seven. So type down in the comment section what letter do you want us to open. Go. Go ahead, guys. Hey, Martin, it's okay. Even though you're late, at least you're still here, so... Yes, that's a good thing. Kyle you says seven. Okay, Shooter Kit, I think we have uh, the majority has spoken. <laughs> yes, yes. We have and that majority number. is Kyle. I, I know. <laughs> okay. Also number seven, Rebecca's here we Zachary. go. Go ahead. Tutor Floyd. All right, I'm just here. It's time for Hey, 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 it's the word of the week. Hey, 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 it's the word of the week. And what's the word of the week, Tutor Floyd? The word of the week is ingenious. Have I mentioned or rather pronounced it well, Shooter Kit? All right. So ingenious is an adjective. When we pertain or we refer to a person, someone who is ingenious is someone who is clever, original, and inventive. Wow. And if it's a machine or an idea, uh, it means you're doing it in a cleverly and original way manner or way so it's originally made or it's cleverly done okay yes. so wow thank you for that that's a good one that's a good one it's true I, I think our students here are mostly if not all ingenious so yes they are okay so let's see the sample sentences here kid yes so for example the first example is okay read with us guys okay so one two three Louis, Luis is the ingenious inventor of the solar-powered alarm clock. Wow. So if you notice, guys, ingenious here uh, refers to Luis as an inventor. So it refers to a person. So one more time, let's read. Luis is the ingenious inventor of the solar-powered alarm clock. Wow. Good job. Good. Good job, guys. Next, we have the next one. Oh, there's something on her hair. Yeah. I wonder what that is. Okay, Linda had 
the ingenious idea of using ice to take the gum off her hair. <laughs> So this time we're pertaining to the idea. So it's not a person. So that's a clever way of performing something. True. Wow. And oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine myself having bubble gum on my hair. Although you I tried had one? a similar one shooter kit. Mine was toothpaste. I don't know. We were all just I, we're just all playing, me and my cousins. And then suddenly I realized when I went to sleep, there was already toothpaste on my hair. What? Uh, it, it was so hard to take out. It's the, it's just a toothpaste. How much more if it's a gum? True. That's a different story. <laughs> it's true. I it's think painful. you're talking if it's a gum, yeah, you have you have to like cut the person's hair because the gum kind of sticks it, sticks to the hair. And so maybe uh putting ice on it will make the gum hard enough to kind of pull. Yes. Okay, so those who have experienced that, you may you may want to try that one. True. <laughs> that fix. So, wow, shooter kit! I love the word of the week, and uh, I'm so excited to see what's in store for us this morning. Yes, yes. Let's 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 go. Okay. Are you guys ready for our next destination? Last it's time yes. we were in, yeah, I think it's a yes, shooter Floy. We were in the cave of, of wonder, right? And now we go out to another place. Welcome to the Valley of Hope. And I'm so excited, Tudor Floyd, because I think this valley is hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. So maybe we can find the prince here. Finally, we can see the prince. Do, what do okay. you think, Tudor Floyd? I'm rooting uh, that today is the day that we'll see the prince. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Hi, let's Justin see. Eugenia. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Hi, Martin. Hi, Athena. Oh, <laughs> Tudor Floyd. I think we have oh. another message okay. from King Scrutiny. Okay. So let's see. So let's see. Would you like me to read it or would you like to use your king's voice to read it? Can you read it, Tudor Floyd? And maybe you can use your queen's voice. <laughs> oh, no. I like that. <laughs> Dear travelers, best of luck to your journey to the Valley of Hope. However, word has it that the once peaceful valley was overtaken by the Monster Brothers. What? Be careful. The Monster Brothers may not let you pass. Luckily, Sheila knows their weakness. Please Ooh. find my dear son, the Prince. King's voice? <coughs> King Scrutiny. Oh, yeah, good job. <laughs> Sudden gender Monster, change. <laughs> Monster Brothers, Tudor Floyd. That, okay. This sounds scary. I know. Mm. I, I don't think I'm ready for monsters, but I ate my breakfast and so did our audience so we can manage. That's okay. true. And hey, guys, if you want uh, more of your classmates to join us in our adventure today, make sure you send them the link so that they can watch and join us, the travelers, to the Valley of Hope too. Okay? All right. So... I think someone new came in. Hi, Justin. It's nice Hi. to have you here. Okay, Tudor Kit. Travel time. Travel time. Ooh, Tudor Floyd. Wow. Okay. Should I read it? Yes, please, Tudor Floyd. And kids, okay. please read with us. Thank you. Yes. Out of the cave and into the valley out of the darkness and into the light. Wow, that sounds good. I like the rhyme. Same, Tudor Floyd. Okay. The travelers were tired, but oh so happy. But the valley was empty. No prince in sight. Mm. Where could the prince be? Okay. All right, guys. Please read along with us. This is now Shelly talking. One, two, three. Shelly took the travelers aside. 
This valley is not what it seems. Hurry, we all need to hide. There are monsters that scream. Ooh, Tudor fly. Oh no, that's scary. <gasps> they're here and they're colorful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh no, with a roar and a gaw and a bower. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are the monster brothers, Tudor Floy. I know. Rar, Gar, and Bar. Bar. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Tudor Floy, can you read Shelly in, in sure. her voice, please? Sure. Worry not, for I know their weakness. They are allergic to sounds that glide. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use stick thongs. That seems best. I'll teach you how. Just stay by my side. We can okay. do this. All okay, right. So, Tutor Flo, apparently, we mm -hmm. will have to learn how to use dip thongs. Okay. I'm ready. The monsters. Okay, let's okay. ready. Let's have this cover together, guys. This sounds we need to master today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this are diphthongs. These are gliding sounds made by two vowels. They're kind of like a vowel digraph, right? Mm -hmm. But their sound that they make are gliding. If you, uh, if you notice, if you notice the sounds that they make, uh, don't really require us like certain friction inside our mouth. So we mm -hmm. just glide. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, um, in addition to that, um, when you talk about gliding, we're having this smooth, smooth production of sound. So, hindi siya masakit sa lalamunan kung Okay, and if uh, for the parents and the guardians who are also joining their uh, kids today, always remember that the one on the left column. These are actually from the IPA, IPA or International Phonetic Alphabet. So. These are the ones that we usually see in dictionaries. However, okay. we've provided their counterpart uh, on how to actually pronounce them once you see one. So let's say in the first one, we have I, A, O, Ow, E, Oi, Ooh, have I pronounced the last one correctly, Tudor Kid? Or yes. You're okay, correct, so, all right. So, so if in case you're confused with the IPA or International Phonetic Alphabet, just remember the counterpart, the one that was provided to you in pink. So it's, it's true. it'll be easier to read. So, Tutor Kit, let's go ahead and see or learn more about this diphthong. Yes, so. let's actually learn these sounds one by one. The first diphthong that we will be learning is the I sound. Now, usually, guys, uh, you can see words with the Y or words with the I-G-H or the words with I ending in E. For example, please read with me. One, two, three. Cry, fly, buy, Bright, light, sight, fine, and lime. Okay, very good. Okay. Yeah. Heavenly Tudor also Floyd. gave an example. She said fight. Okay, good, good one. job, Heavenly. Good one. So we have the next diphthong, which is pronounced as A. So we have the long A sound. We have bake. Okay, I hope you love baking. We also have ray. We also have lay. Okay, we have eight. <laughs> we have break. <laughs> we have late. <laughs> ah, we also have fair and lake. Okay, so that those are good ones. We also have cake. Martin, you're cake. making me hungry. <laughs> me too. Oh, my God. Chocolate cake. All right. I I'd like pistachio cake with mm. sans rival underneath. 
Well, please. What about you guys? What's your favorite cake flavor? (laughs) Yes, go type in your favorite cake. Please. Okay. The next diphthong is O. 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 So read with me, guys. One, two, three. Go. O. Slow. Lone. Though. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Foe and toes. So if you <laughs> the one sound O, oh, then that is the diphthong O. Oh. oh, good job. Okay, next we have, okay, so ow, ow, okay. Um, if you notice for the parents, you can see a it's like an inverted uh, a letter a an inverted omega sign okay so that will be a very easy way to spot it so we have bound ow okay house brown how <laughs> now lousy found and power okay power Okay, bow as well. Good job, yeah, Martin. Yeah, good job, Martin. Okay. So make sure you remember the ow sound. So we still have one more cheddar kit or two more. I'm not really sure. Let's uh, see. Let's let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Tudor Floyd. I'm it's scared. The, it's, Here's my lipstick. It will turn uh, into a lightsaber. <laughs> It's rawr. Rawr. Okay. My gosh. Guys, we need your help with this one. Help. Okay. I am rawr. Trespassers. If you don't know your diphthongs, I will not let you pass. (laughs) Oh, no. I'm scared. I I think we know our diphthongs. Our kids kids were listening a while back. So So make sure to ready your keyboard. Type in your answers. Help yeah. us. Help us, or else we will not pass. Okay, Tudor Floyd, can you read Rao's first question? Sure, go ahead. So, which word has the I diphthong? I. I. A. Rain. B. Cry. C. Slow. Or D. Cloud. Mm. Okay. What could it be? I rain, I cry, I slow, I cloud, I which dip thong, mm. which has that dip thong. Quick the guys, answer. or else. Oh, Athena said B. Kyle yes. said B too. Yes. Heavenly yes. said B. Yes. So the so answer is, is letter B. Cry. cry. Good job. Good job, everyone. <laughs> okay, Ooh. let's have the Question next one. Two. Question number two. Which word has the O diphthong? O. A. Cake. B. Dry. C. Loud. D. Flow. What do you guys okay. think? O. Oh. Cake. Dry. Loud. Or flow? All oh. right. Hmm. Okay. Fester, guys. We might get eaten. I is there a time limit? I'm scared. So cake, Ooh. dry, loud, flow. Okay, O oh, sound. So we got the answer already. It's letter D as in flow. Yes, good job, guys. Flow. Good job. Good job. Mm, okay. Okay. We're still no good sweat. to the flow. <laughs> Next one. Which word has the A diphthong? Remember, there should be a question mark. After the question, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. I'm sure the kids already spotted that. And props yeah. to you for noticing. Good job, guys. So the choices are break, fried, sound, or throw. Okay. So which word has the A? A. 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 Rake. A. Fried. A sound or a fro? The answer Athena. is definitely letter A. Good job, everyone. Good job, Athena, Martin, and Mitch. Nice. Good, good, good. Next one. Okay, this one, guys. Which word has the ow diphthong? Sorry, once again, guys. Question mark. Okay, a question ends with a question mark. 
A, flake. B, lied. C, frown. D, glow. Which one has the ow diphthong? Ow, flake. Ow, lied. Ow, frown. Ow, glow. Okay. <laughs> Chitter kid, I think we have the answer already. Oh, good job, guys. fast. The answer is frown. Frown. See. Okay. Good job. Don't frown, just smile because you're <laughs> with us. <laughs> Roar, Chitter kid. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. You may pass. Watch out for my other brothers. They are not as nice. Mm. Oh, no. Means they're, they're probably me and Tudor Floyd. <laughs> oh, no. I'm scared. Okay, Tudor Kit. With a whoosh, the monster ran away. The travelers are safe for another day. But Shelly stopped them and said this. Let's learn more diphthongs first. So we will be learning more diphthongs, Tudor Floyd. Okay, there's more. The more, the merrier. Yes. <laughs> okay, we have the E as in long E diphthong. So we have career, here, dear, near. Okay, year, peer. Okay. Or in Filipino, nasa pier, nasa pantalan. Oh, ganon. Yes. Okay, yes. We also have fear. So, what's your fear, Chura Kip? What's your fear? Uh, tuko. You know tuko? Those, really? those big geckos that goes, tuko. <laughs> like oh, that. No. Oh. They, they are friendly creatures. They have good use. Well, I have been bit, bitten by a tuko, so wow. it was traumatic for me. Oh, <sighs> no. That was scary. What did you do after? Did you get an injection or something? I don't know. No, I just washed it, and then my my uh, my mom put some betadine uh, on it. So All right. So be careful next time. And so are our viewers. Be careful, okay? No matter how useful an animal <laughs> is, sometimes they, they also get threatened. That's why yeah. they seem to attack us. So just be careful. And then we have more um, answers or examples here. We have Shear from Sheer, Martin. Yes. We also have Shear from Sheer Heavenly. From so Heavenly. thank you. Good job, guys. Next one. Next set. The next uh, set, the next set, uh, the next diphthong is oi, oi. For example, please read with me. Go, boy. Koi meaning shy. Toy. Foil. Coin. Boil. Turmoil. Uh, to turmoil. Floy, what is turmoil? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. I think turmoil. It's is that something that prefers to uh, something that's full of confusion or something yeah. that's disorderly? I don't know. I think that's true. turmoil. Am I turmoil, right? That's true. Yeah. Turmoil, disorderly, disorganized, kind of like uh, there's like something uh, chaotic, right? <laughs> yes. Chaotic. Yes. So we have another example. We have soy as in soy sauce. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, or soybean. So thank you. Angie from San Roque Central Metro School, Davos Hi. City. Thank you for joining in today. So we'll have the next diphthong tutor, Kit and Kids. And the next diphthong is the U or M. Yeah. Okay. So we have sure, <laughs> lur. <laughs> Pure, manure, okay, ah, <laughs> smelly, <laughs> endure, manure, endure, glue, clue, and tour. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. good job. Next one, Tudor Kit. Oh, Tudor Floyd. R, oh. it's bar. R. Okay, so this one, Shooter Kit, let's see. I am Bar. If you don't know your diphthongs, you won't get away from me. Oh, my oh gosh. No. So this one, Shooter <laughs> Floyd, it's a little more difficult. According to Bar, you 
pick the diphthong found in the word the image represents. So for example, uh, our readers would guess what this is first, then try to find out the diphthong used in the word. Okay, are you guys ready? So this is the, 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 the image. What could it be and what diphthong represents the word? Is it A, E, is it B, OI, or is it C, OO? Hmm. Okay, we have an answer already, Shooter. Good, that was fast. Our <laughs> answers are coming in from Heavenly, Martin, Athena. Uh, the Their answer is letter C, as in glue. So Ooh, very good. Good job. Good job, guys. Next one. So this is, I wonder what this is. <laughs> we have letter A, E, diphthong, O, I, diphthong, or the Ooh, diphthong. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. What could it be? What could it be? I think Come this on, is an animal guys. that says, bah. Ah, you all know what that is. <laughs> okay. So the answer is, good job, guys. Letter A, as in E, or a sheep. We have a sheep. Mm. Have you seen one, Shooter Kit? Yes, I actually have seen one, and... Uh, and they're usually, they have really thick uh, wool coat. And yes. then uh, their owners kind of shear them and then they take their coat and then the wool and then make it into like a jacket or something like that. So they're very okay. useful. Mm -hmm. You know what, Shooter Kid? I had a funny experience with the sheep. Although I've seen them in a farm and they're so adorable. <laughs> if only I was close to them, I could have hugged them. They're, they look so fluffy in my eyes. There was this one time. I went to this uh, mall, a newly opened mall, and then mm -hmm. when we stepped out from the coffee shop inside the mall, I was like, there was this area that's that's barren, and then to to our surprise, there were sheep rushing oh. in, and I was like, what just happened? I I immediately <laughs> ran towards the mall because I was so scared, but when I went in, I just realized they're so adorable. Why was they I scared? Are. Why did I run? <laughs> Maybe you, you were just surprised because it's something new to you. Yes. Okay. Let's have the next one. Here, yes. Okay? By the way, hi, Chris Galvez and Chanel Salmarine. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, guys. The next one is pick the diphthong found in the word that this image represents. Is it A, E? Is it OI? Or is it U? What do you guys think? What is this? It's a 10 peso blank, Tudor Floyd. Yes, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The first time it came out, I was so I, I was so confused. Was it a one peso blank or is it a 10 peso blank? True. Okay, so we got the answer, Tudor Kid. <laughs> Good job, Martin. And it is coin with the oi dip thong. Good job, guys. Yes. Good job. Okay, this is from Bar. Bar. Okay, you may pass. My oldest brother may have the prince. Ooh, we're kind of close to her, Floyd. Yes, okay. With a swoosh, the monster ran away. The travelers are safe for another day. Yay. Okay. We met two monster brothers. What a relief. Ooh. The third is the worst. That's my belief. Oh, I'm scared. Me he too. cannot be defeated with just diphthongs. That's why we need to learn a new lesson. Oh, a new one. Syllabication. Okay. <laughs> Good job. We need this to beat the last monster brother, Tudor Floyd. Okay. Uh, he he should be the, what to call us, the toughest and the scariest, right? Don't worry if the monster is the toughest and the scariest. The viewers today are the most ingenious one out there. Ooh. Ingenious <laughs> ones out there. So, okay, yes. we can do this. We can do this. So what is syllabication, by the way, guys? Syllabication is a kind of breaking up words into sound bites we call syllables. We call them sound bites 
because they're like little bites of sound that you can uh, say in just one breath, okay? So uh, why, why do we have to learn syllabication? Because it helps us in reading a long or difficult word easily, okay? So are guests ready for our lesson on syllabication? Of course we are. Just make sure you... I can, I can see a yes in the chat. Wow, okay, tutors. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, guys. Okay, Tutor Floyd. All right. So the, there are five rules, if I'm not mistaken, for syllabication. Let's start with rule number one. So when two consonants come between two vowels in a word, so the one consonant, tapos napaggitnaan siya ng mga vowels, okay, Divide between the consonants. Okay. Let's check the examples. Let's read them first. The yes. first one is under. Under. The, fir the second one, rather, is sandy. We also have piglet. Ah, <laughs> piglet. Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Winnie the Pooh's friend. We have True. parted. We also have salty and burger yes so we're actually doing the syllabication already when we read the six words and let's spot one by one how they are actually syllabicated or separated True. or broken let's begin with the first one under is syllabicated between the n and the d so okay. under Okay, right. so we use the slash to divide the words into syllables. Okay, okay. that'll be easier. Okay, others use a dash instead of a slash, but True. for today, to make it easier, let's use slash. And take note, the two consonants in that word is letter N and letter D. Judah, can, can you hit the back button for a while so they can see the, so you see? So letter U is a vowel. Letter E after D is also a vowel. Remember the rule. When two consonants, in this case N and D, come between two vowels, U and E, in a word which is under, divide between the consonants. The consonants here are, type them in, N and D. So yeah. that's why we <laughs> break it down and we have under. Let's have the yes. next set shooter kit. Let's have the others or the rest of the words. San, D, pig, let, par, ted, sal, t, burger. So, yes. Good job, good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. So, okay. Keisha from San Roque District, Region 11. Hello, Hi. hello, hello. We also have Juna Rivera watching for a Judy Putian from San Roque Central Elementary School, grade six years old. And hello. also, wow, advisor, Raya May M. Similia. So, thank you for joining us this day Hello, so, guys let's have the next rule shooter kit okay rule number two is that when there are more than two consonants so it means be in that low or apat right to gather in a word the consonant digraphs should stay intact so when you say two or more consonants we're looking for a uh, trigraphs right tutor floyd for yes. example entrance entrance has the E N T R consonant trigraph. Monster, the N S T nst trigraph. Subtract the B T R tr, and then entrust N T R two. So what okay. we will be doing is we will have the consonant digraphs intact. The tr, the st, okay. the tr, okay. and the tr. Right, to Floyd? Okay. The tr and the st and the tr. And the <laughs> I would like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All so right. when we syllabicate this, what will happen? Entrance becomes N slash trans. N trans. What about okay. the other ones, Tudor Floyd? All right. So uh, we have monster. So you notice the consonant digraph there is ST. We shouldn't be separating that. We don't say monster. <laughs> you say monster, okay? So the st sound is still there. 
we also have subtract. So sub and then tr, 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 yes. <laughs> digraph, tract. Okay. We don't say subtract. That, that's weird. <laughs> no. <laughs> and finally, tutor kit. We have n trust with a tr separated from n. You don't say nth trust. No. <laughs> N trust. Okay. Next one. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Rule number three. When a word contains one consonant between two vowels, divide the word after the first vowel or before the next consonant. Let's begin with the first word. I know it seems a bit tricky, but mm -hmm. we can do this. In that word, what is the one consonant between two vowels? So we have animal. The, the consonants there would be letter N, letter M, and letter L. The vowels, on the other hand, I'd like you to read the vowels with me. We have letter A, letter I, and another letter A. This time... Let's spot what is that one consonant that is surrounded or is in between two vowels. Is it letter N, letter M, or letter L? Let's type yeah. in your observation. Let's see if we are seeing that same consonant between two vowels. Don't worry. It's just for this word and the rest True. will be a breeze. So. Let's see. N. Okay, that's good. We also have M. Good job, Heavenly. So when we syllabicate this, we divide the word after the first vowel, in this case, letter A, and before the next consonant, which is letter M. Okay? N and M. Good job, Heavenly. So let's see how this is syllabicated, Shitter Kit. Go ahead. Sure. It's actually complicated as a, mm -hmm. ne, mm -hmm. ma, animal. Okay. All right. Good job. So you see, we have that first consonant or one consonant between two vowels, animal. Okay. Next one, we have anything. Uh, a, ni, thing. Okay. Good job. Next did one, you notice, Did you notice you reflow that in anything, Y kind of functions as a vowel sound. So yes. Y has the the sound N, anything, okay, yeah. right? Okay, not a nice thing, anything. <laughs> okay, next. Good job, Heavenly. Elephant, elephant. Okay, so the PH sound, okay. Consonant diagraph again. True. Next one, Shooter Kit, the last one. Oh, focusing? focusing? Is it focusing? <laughs> yes. Focusing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Shooter Kit. Focusing. <laughs> because C here is surrounded by O and U, and so we, we divide uh, after the first vowel and before the next consonant, which is S. Okay. So focusing. Okay. Point. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Not a problem. I'm sure our audience understands because we'll now hop on to rule number, rule number four. four. So this one is a very easy rule. Why? Because if a word contains a double consonant or we have one consonant and then just make sure you have another of that same consonant. Yes. That's why it's called a double consonant. The syllable should be divided between the two consonants. That's so true. in this case, we have, please read with us, happy, little or little, either of the two, or dizzy or luggage. So we have double P, double T, double Z, double G. So those are double consonants. So True. Tutor Kit, let's show them how we syllabicate these words. Go ahead. Very good, Tutor Floy. Happy. Did you guys see that? The P, uh, there are two P's, and we put the slash in between those two P's. So it's hap, P, P. Little. So. Dizzy. Lug 
gauge. So it's pretty easy, right? Just separate those double consonants and you're good to go. Yes, you see, that's so easy. <laughs> now that let's have the good. last rule. I believe there are only five rules. I, I have my resources here. The grasses were whispering to us <laughs> saying that there are only five rules and we can Ooh. manage. <laughs> okay, so when there are two vowels together in a word, that each produce a separate sound. So they're together, but they are pronounced separately, okay? The word gets divided between the vowels, okay? So we have examples such as lion, quiet, poem, and ni yun. Okay, let's see. Let's see the splashes, shooter kit. Okay, so we have lion, Yet, po, wim, and ni, yen. Okay, wow. good so, job, Harold. Good job, Martin. Good job. You're so good in heavenly, good too. Yes, good job, guys. Okay, so those are the five rules. Okay, and then Tudor Kit, what's next? Ooh. Oh, Tudor Floyd. It's Gar. It's the scared. last monster brother. Okay. Let me Oof. read this for us. I'm I scared. am Gar. I have the prince. If you don't know how to syllabicate, you will never see him ever again. Aww. Oh, no. Let's Tudor do this. Boy. We can do this. Yes. So according to Gar, we can pick, we need to pick the correct syllabication of the following words. So our guests ready? Okay, ready? Let's begin. Okay, so Tudor Floyd, can can you uh, begin? Uh, can you start us off, please? <laughs> okay. So Sorry. the first one is: What is the correct syllabication of the word rabbit? Rabbit. rabbit. Okay. So is it rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> or C rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's awkward. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, look at the tutor floor. They're so good. I know. Wow. Good job. So we have their double consonant, so BB. So we separate or divide in between the rab and the bit, and we get a rabbit. Good, good job, job, guys. Okay. So it doesn't mean that we're syllabicating now, tutor kid. I just wanted to remind our kids and their parents or siblings that when we syllabicate, it's good to really put some pauses in between divisions. Yes. But when we pronounce the words in conversation, we can make it a bit quicker. Okay. True. Okay. So you can do that. For practice, we can slow things down, but when you pronounce them in conversations we can make them a little quicker a little quicker next one should I get the next one is what is the correct syllabication of the word lemonade is it lemonade or is it lem on aid or lemonade <laughs> okay what i feel like letter b letter b i feel like i'm wounded so there's lem on aid <laughs> Someone, Lem is helping me, <laughs> aiding me. Okay, so definitely letter B is a big no no. That's not, yeah, that's answer. true. So you have to choose between thing. A and C. Go ahead. Mm. Remember, Harold, uh, B is already out of the picture. Oh, Zell Cell said it's A. a. Let's see, Tudor Floyd. Oh, Ooh. wow, good, correct. Le Ma. Nate. Nate. Good job. Good job. Next. So what is the correct syllabication of the word balloon? So I guess we have another double consonant there, Chitter Kit. So yes. is it balloon? <laughs> <laughs> or letter B, ball -oon. <laughs> Or letter C, balloon? What do you guys okay. think? 
Come on, you can do this. You can do it. Do you it, can do type it. in your you answer. Look at me, Chura Kid. I'm already dancing. You can do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. You guys can do it. Oh, I guess Ooh. they just did it. So the answer is go ahead, Chura Kid. Ding, 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 ding. Balloon, letter C. Good next job, Harold one. and Gabrielle. Okay. okay, the next one is. What is the correct syllabication of the word poetry? Poetry. poetry. Is okay. it poetry? Is it <laughs> poetry or po et? So po e tri. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. All right. So let's see. Okay, come on, you guys. Send in your answers. <laughs> Come on. What do you guys think? All right. So they have different answers, but True. I think the, the answer or the most common answers would be letter A and letter mm -hmm. C. So I wonder which one is the best, better, or the best answer among the three. Okay? What's C to Floyd? Okay. The answer is actually B, guys. B. <laughs> So Aros was able to get it, and so with Martin. So good job, True. you two. So po wet tree. So even yes. if we see, we hear the W, we can really see that it's syllabicated, syllab divided. You don't say po wet a po wet tree. <laughs> yes. You don't say a po wet tree. So there is really a pause. Okay. Yes. So good job, Christine, as well. So next one, no. Oh, sorry. Ooh, he's sorry. angry. He, he got really oh. angry, Tudor Floyd. I know. You guys Ooh. are so good. No, but you guys <laughs> are so good. I saw that. Okay. Walang bawian, monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, so with a swoosh, the last monster ran away. The travelers are safe for another day. Good job. Good job. So, but where is the prince? He's nowhere in sight. He should be around here. Isn't that right? Oh, Chirifoy, look. Hmm. Help. Help. Oh, no. I, I can hear a scream. I think that's the prince. Who was that? Who could it be? It sounds like the prince. I think he's in trouble. Oh, oh no. my. Oh, no. So, Wow. Okay, come on, let's rush. Let's rush. Oh, it's to be continued, you guys. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, wow, that, wow, what an ending. But we True. have the king's email or message, Sugar Kid. Go ahead. Greetings. I congratulate you on getting rid of the Monster Brothers. The Valley of Hope is peaceful again. You get the Hope Award for saving the valley. However, the prince seems to be in trouble. Please help him quickly. <laughs> help him fast. King scrutiny. Oh, okay. Tudor Floyd, next week would be pretty hectic and pretty, uh, what do you call this, exciting. Hmm. I know, there's part two already, as for heavenly. Yes, heavenly, there's always, there's a part two. Okay, I say <laughs> level up the level up that you need to lie at. Reading remediation for grades four yeah. to six. So, Tutor Kit, wow, I really love our session today. And Same. I can see that uh, all our students today are really enjoying and they've given as much answers as we could possibly think of. So, True. congratulations, you guys. And, uh, Tutor Kit, is there a, a message, a closing or parting message for our kids? Yes. So, our message for today, guys, for this week for you is from Charles Proteus Steinmetz. He said, there are no foolish questions and no man becomes a fool until he has stopped asking questions. So one quality of a, of a good student is that he or she asks questions all the time, meaning he is uh, curious. He is inquisitive. When you ask questions, you get more answers. You become more knowledgeable. You become more ingenious. 
cat that's that, right. a tutor for it. Okay. That's a good one, tutor kid. And remember, kids, don't be afraid to ask. But please, when you ask, just ask because you really wanted to learn something new or you want to verify things. Don't ask just because you're trying to test your <laughs> your teacher or your tutor or your uh, parents or siblings or whoever is teaching you. Ask because you want to really ask yeah. or ask because you want to just verify things. So True. good job and good luck in your journey of asking more from That's your home tutors or tutors here as well at e 2 Lai. So thank you everyone for a fruitful session. Please stay tuned for the next session, which is all about, go ahead, Shooter Kit. What's our next topic or apart from the part two of really looking for the prints, I think our topic is on homophones and homographs. Yes, and homonyms and homographs. Oh. So okay. it would be uh, interesting. Yes. yes. So more sounds, everyone, and thank you. Thank you so much. If you wanted to get featured, make sure you have your weekly picture or video while attending our session. And don't forget to tag your tutors, uh, tutor Kit Nadado and tutor Floyd Vera, and we'll be more than happy to have you here in our utilized session That's true. very soon. So and thank, guys, you, thank you, thank you, everyone. We want to hear from you, too. If you wanted to send us some feedback on how we can improve, if you like your, our session, please leave us a comment in this feedback form. Thank you so much, guys. And I am Tutor Kit. This is Tutor Florence, or Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> In reading and remediation for grades 4 to 6 every Friday, 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. at DepEd EdTech Unit Facebook page, DepEd Philippines, and Educational Technology Unit YouTube accounts. Or, yeah, accounts. So, thank you, yes. everyone. Stay tuned thank in you. for TLE or Lutong Bahay session with your other Ooh, tutors. So bye, 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 bye. Bye, guys. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> bye, guys. You. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!